Unlocking the meaning, ice cap, uncovered. Hello dear learners. Today, we are diving into the icy world of language to understand the phrase, ice cap. Stick around to unravel the depths of this interesting English term. Before we get into the full meaning of ice cap, let's dissect the two words individually. Ice. This refers to water that has frozen into a solid state. Think of those cubes you put in your drink on a hot day. Cap. In general, a cap is something that covers or lies on top of something else. It's like the cap you wear on your head. It sits on top, right? An ice cap is a large area of ice that covers a piece of land for a long period of time. Imagine a big hat of ice sitting on top of a piece of land. This term is usually associated with the polar regions of our planet. These ice caps are much smaller than ice sheets, which cover vast areas like Antarctica and Greenland. The key idea is that it's a thick, dome-shaped mass of glacier ice that spreads out in all directions. To fully grasp the context, here are a few sentences using ice cap. 1. The polar ice caps are melting due to global warming. 2. Scientists are studying the ice cap to understand climate change better. 3. If you visit the Arctic region, you might see the vast expanse of the ice cap. You might wonder, why should I know about ice caps? The answer is, understanding the term, ice cap, not only enriches your English vocabulary but also gives you insight into global environmental issues. The state of our planet's ice caps is a hot topic in discussions about climate change, as their health can indicate larger patterns and impacts on global climates. And there we have it. Now, whenever you hear the term, ice cap, you won't just think of a cold hat but will truly understand its significance in both language and our world. We hope you found this explainer helpful. Keep exploring, and stay frosty, dear learners.